Giuaco Piano Game, Main Line, Giuaco Pianissimo Variation. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White was a cut above black in the middle game. The players battled pretty evently in the end game. Sharp games are frequently the result of starting with the king's pawn since it dominates the center and frees up the bishop and queen on the light squares. A typical answer is e5, which builds a position in the middle, controls d4, and frees up the queen and bishop on the dark square. The move nf3 advances the knight toward the center, engages the e5 piece in combat, and sets up a castle. nc6 defends the pawn on e5, advances the knight toward the center, and scans the d4 square. Beginning the Italian game is bc4, which immediately begins to attack the f7 pawn and get ready to castle. bc5 attacks the f2 pawn and helps control the important d4 square. c3 supports the d2 d4 pawn break and allows the queen to develop on the queen side. nf6 advances the knight and engages in an attack on the exposed e4 pawn. D3 protects the E4 pawn and the C4 bishop and allows the dark squared bishop to develop. The bishop is prepared to grow into a functional square. By doing this, a knight moves out of its beginning square and into the action. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling king side tends to be safer because the king is further from the center. Castling gets the king to a safer square, out of the center of the board, while also developing a rook. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent avoids some of the attacking associated with opposite side castling. Very precise. It is best. Games master. It is the final book action. A wise decision. It is quite good. A powerful play. It is quite good. There were worse maneuvers, but there were also much better ones. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This accomplishes this by posing a threat to a rook and compelling it to flee. It is quite good. The rook is now on a square that is more secure. This poses a threat to a bishop who is confined. It is ideal. This uses a pawn to attack the center while vying for position. It is quite good. The opposing knight is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This leads to losing a pawn. This permits the opponent to attack a trapped bishop. It is a mistake. There was only one good move in that position. This overlooks an opportunity to attack a trapped bishop. It is a miss. A better approach to center a knight so that it commands more squares is disregarded in this. It falls flat. This strikes the opponent's bishop. It is quite good. The bishop is now in a secure position. It is quite good. This misses the chance to provide an equitable exchange of pieces. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. This misses a chance to build a bishop outside of its starting square. It is incorrect. This activates a bishop by developing it off of its starting square. This threatens to kick a knight. It is good. This ignores an opportunity to kick a rook. This allows the opponent to take an outpost with a bishop. It is a mistake. Backs off. This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. By doing this, a bishop moves out of its beginning square and into the action. It is quite good. This suggests kicking a bishop. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. By doing this, a queen moves off of its beginning square and into the action. That's good. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. 
it is ideal. This misses a chance to link together rooks. It is incorrect. Backs off. It is ideal. By posing a threat to a queen and compelling it to flee, this wins a tempo. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. This defends a weakly defended rook that is being attacked. It is ideal. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This strikes the rival queen. That's good. The queen is therefore moved to safety. That's good. A wise decision. It is quite good. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is quite good. This comes in several sections. It is ideal. This deters an assault on a pawn that is weak. That's good. This provides an equal exchange of parts. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. That pawn was available for free. That's good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Backs off. White is ahead at this point in the end game. It is ideal. Recaptures. It is ideal. That bishop was free. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. The rook is now in a safe position. It is quite good. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is quite good. The pawn is now passed because it can no longer be opposed as it attempts to promote by other pieces. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It's compelled. That is a logical response. It is quite good. This misses an opportunity to move a piece to safety. This permits the opponent to create a passed pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This exchange is fair. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This avoids the rook's check. It is quite good. The pawn is now on a square that is safer. That's good. This positions the rook behind an enemy passed pawn, preventing it from pushing for promotion. It is quite good. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. Very precise. It is best. This misses a chance to make a pawn winning threat. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This can indicate that a pawn is being attacked. It is incorrect. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. An opponent's passed pawn can't advance if a rook is positioned behind it. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. That's a decent move. That's good. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. Very precise. It is best. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. This misses a chance to protect a pawn that was being attacked. It is incorrect. White had the advantage at first, but now they are in the lead. It is incorrect. This is the only move that works. This prevents the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is a great move. This moves the checking rook farther away. It's compelled. This defends the attacked pawn. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This suggests using a rook to block a pawn that has been passed. It is incorrect. This stops the opponent from being able to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is excellent. As a result, the adversary may promote a passed pawn. It is incorrect. The moved pawn advances toward its objective. It is ideal. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This pushes a passed pawn. This is the only move that works. This stops the opponent from being able to win a pawn. It is a great move. 
This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to pose a pun winning threat. That falls flat. This could have been done lot better. It is incorrect. This loses a chance to imply that winning a pawn is possible. It is incorrect. Among the best actions. It is quite good. This avoids the rook's check. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This ignores a more effective approach to sidestep the enemy rook's check. It is incorrect. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This overlooks a more effective approach to sidestep the enemy rook's check. It is incorrect. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This steps away from the checking rook. This is the only good move. It is a great move. This positions the rook behind an enemy passed pawn, preventing it from pushing for promotion. It is ideal. The passed pawn moves towards its goal. This is the only move that works. It is best. Very precise. It is best. White still has the upper hand, but they are no longer in a position to win. It is incorrect. That is a regrettable error. It is incorrect. This is the only good move. It is a great move. A wise decision. It is quite good. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. A powerful play. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. That is a logical response. It is quite good. Among the best actions. It is quite good. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. Very precise. It is best. That pawn was free for the taking. This threatens to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is excellent. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A powerful play. It is quite good. This prevents a rival rook from checking. It is ideal. This move puts the rook on a safer square. This threatens to use a rook to counter a passed pawn. It is best. This pushes a passed pawn. It is excellent. Intense that was a serious game. That game was pretty competitive. Black had a good opening, but white was on another level. White was a cut above black in the middle game. The players battled pretty evently in the end game.